Team Spoiled and welcome back to my channel. For those of you that don't know me, I'm Shalisa and welcome back to my channel. As you guys can tell from the title of this video, today is going to be my skincare routine plus some tips and tricks that I do to just keep my skin clear. Um, as you guys can see, I picked a really good day to film this because my skin is looking amazing right now. There's literally nothing on it. I had a pimple that came in, I think maybe a day or two ago after I got my hair done. I mean, got my eyebrows waxed, which usually does happen every time I get my hair done to get my eyebrows waxed, but that's okay up here you can actually see it a little bit I don't know if you guys can but I can I took some alcohol and like pressed it on it and it made it go away really quick so I was hoping that it would be gone by the time I filmed this video and it is so I'm super happy about that but anyways I don't want to talk too much let's get right into this video because I do want to take a shower and I did decide to wash my face and so forth before I got in the shower today just because I wanted to do it. the first thing that I'm going to do is I am going to brush my teeth um, because I haven't done that since I've woken up so I am going to brush my teeth really quick and then after I brush my teeth we're going to get into my facial routine and what I do just to keep my face all cute and clear. The next thing that I'm going to do is I am just going to wash my hands because you know we want our hands to always be clean before we go in with touching our face. Take this Himalayan salt hydrating soap um i believe all the hydrating soaps that i get are either like um anti it's like something i have to like look but they're like organic or like something like that it's supposed to be something like not like regular hand soap i guess drying my hands didn't really make sense because i'm about to have to wet my face but it's okay i'm gonna go in with these little things i don't know what they're called um i'll link it in the description box below but i just bought these off of amazon so i was like you know what let me try these out let me see if they work um and i like the material of them the one that i use let me show you guys is the blue one so that's the one that i'm about to use on my face as you can see it has like this type of scrub material on it so when you are using it to like wash your face it's supposed to help with getting all the dead skin and so forth off and i feel like that was really helpful for me especially because i have really really dry skin as you guys could tell in previous videos you know i'm always having dry skin on my face or like something like that i have really really dry skin and oily skin i have like a mixture of both so for me to be using one of these to wash my face every morning i feel like that really helps just get all the dry and dead skin off my face before i go out into the day and more of it forms i am going to be going in with that with my pure castle baby soap i know some people use this on their body only but i've had this same bottle they last me months like i've had the same bottle of pure organic baby soap for over three four months now i use it on my face every day as you guys can see it does my face justice it's really good for dry and oily skin and for sensitive skin i also have really sensitive skin so i can't use a lot of different products on my face because then it'll make me break out or like it'll just give me really bad symptoms and my face won't look as good as it does now so ever since i started using pure castor i can say that my skin has definitely improved um it's very gentle like i said it's for gentle skin sensitive skin so if you have gentle or sensitive skin i highly recommend that you check that out and use it on your face i've recommended it to many many people before and they've actually really liked it I'm talking too much so we're gonna go in and we are just going to rinse my face that is going to be the first step So after I do go in and just get it all over my face as much as I can, um, I do just let it sit for a second and then I go in with a little warmer water than what I did when I first rinsed my face off and I just get it off. And then once you do have your face all washed and clean and scrubbed off, as you can see, um, it should look very much clean, very much brighter, very much ready to go. I already rinsed off the scrubber thing um, so you guys can't see all the excess that was left on it, but you could see the most that I showed you. The next thing that I do like to do is I just like to go into my face using the 
Witch Hazel by T.N. Dickinson's. Um, I know this is actually really popular and most people use it to like brighten up dark spots and stuff like that. Um, I can say that it's really helped me with brightening up my dark spots given the fact that they're literally like almost gone. I had like a lot of dark spots and a lot of dark spaces on my face. I still have some like if you were to see me in person you would be able to see them but as far as seeing them on camera you can't really see them like that so yeah you just can't. I'm gonna go in with this witch hazel so I'm gonna put them on the basic cotton rounds I need to buy some ones that are not as cheap as this I feel like using the really cheap ones is bad because when you do put some sort of wet substance on it the like material of it starts to come off and get on my face and so that's kind of why I stopped using them for a while I haven't really used them in a minute when I do put the witch hazel on my face I sort of kind of try to use a towel or like maybe a cotton swab or something like that but I'm just gonna use it because it's the first thing that I have close to me right here but I do just put a little bit on the cotton swab and then just carefully dab it around my face I try not to do it too hard so I won't get any of the material of the cotton thing on my face because that does tend to happen. I do like to usually just let the witch hazel sit into my face so it can sink in and really just do what it needs to do um, before I go in with my moisturizers. So now that I've let that sit into my face for a minute, I am just going to go in with my Cetaphil. Um, I use the Daily Moisturizer Cetaphil with sunscreen in it. So I do only use a couple dots of this, which is probably why this bottle has lasted me for so long. I do just like to put one on my forehead, one on each of my cheeks, and then one on my chin. And then I just go in with two fingers, maybe three sometimes, and I just rub that all over my face. I only use two fingers mainly because if I use more than that it will cause my skin to get red and irritated. I think I told you guys that before in previous videos but it actually really does work. It's very much more gentle um, and when you're rubbing it in just try not to rub too hard I recommend especially if you have sensitive skin like me. Like y'all when I tell y'all I have sensitive ass skin I really have sensitive ass skin. step of my skincare routine as you guys can see my skin is glowing looking good and ready for the day hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to hit that like button don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well so you guys can become a part of team spoiled stay tuned i will see you guys in my next video i love you guys so much make sure to stay safe good night if you're going to bed or good morning and have a great day whatever time you're seeing this don't forget to wear your mask and i will see you guys later bye